It's Name That Name. Hi, I'm Gamey McGame Game, your host on Name That Name. Okay, Wendy, the pressure's mounting. Are you ready for your question? Uh, I think so. Great! Wendy, what is your name? Oh, 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 oh wait, wait. Tick, now don't tell tick, me. Tick, I tick, know tick, this tick, 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 Five seconds left, I, Wendy. I, tick, tock, no. tick, tock, tick, tick. in the big city. Chapter 1. Can't Live Without You The Big City! City of dreams! Town of opportunity! Borough of people! That's right, folks. It ain't easy being the only sheep in the big city. <laughs> How can it be easy when rich ladies hate you? Hey, sheep! The media makes fun of you. I'm a dummy. <laughs> and ticket prices for sheep are tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, it's tough. But things are tough all over. Like at Farmer John's farm, for instance. That's right, unseen narrator. Ever since my precious little sheepy left for that big city, I've been dealing with a period of adjustment. While I have acceptance for the void that's in my center space, I'm trying to visualize an inner emotional base. But, and this should not be a surprise, I'm finding that the... Hey, where are you going? I'm not done actualizing my pain! Jeez! No wonder sheep went to the big city! <coughs> Still, on lonely nights like tonight, sheep has no one to bleat to! <coughs> Except maybe a dust ball from under his couch! It's pathetic. Speaking of pathetic, what's going on with General Specific? The one man desperate to capture sheep and use him in a sheep-powered ray gun. Majors, welcome to the Subcommittee on Sheep Capture, which, in order to facilitate the use of puns, is being held on a submarine. Okay, let's get cracking. Any old business? I've got something. I've been waiting 62 years. Yeah, yeah. Any new business? All right, enough of that. As you know, we had limited success capturing sheep when we hired the man of a thousand bases. Ah, ah, look! I don't know what I was thinking with that one. Anywho, I'm pleased to announce that the head of both research and development has come up with a plan. Mad scientist? Angry! I am an angry scientist! Why is it that you are always in the remembering of the scientist part, but not the angry? I think we were more interested in your plan. Major, I have come up with a brilliantly simple plan for the capturing of sheep. Yes? We grab him! Oh. I have come up with a new, slightly more complicated plan for capturing of sheep. Yes? We grab him with this net. Where? After much exhaustive study, I have come up with... Will you stop it with 
that sign? I am trying to telling my plan here, but cannot because your sign putting Will your General on. Specific capture she? Wait a minute. Will she but just to being alone in the big city? Why are you in the interrupting of Find the out all the answers in our next gut wrenchingly, stupendously invigorating installment, Chapter 2. Will you let me finish? I cannot be believing of this. <laughs> it's a celebration a thon a sale event at Oxymoron Motors, and just look at all the people dancing. Excuse me, sir. Are you dancing because of Oxymoron Motors' new low, low prices? No. Oh. Um, then why are you dancing? I love dancing. Whee! Hi there. Are you girls dancing because of Oxymoron Motors' great new safety features? No way, man. We just love dancing. <laughs> Besides, the discos are all closed. And they kicked us out of the donut shop! Uh, right. Um, are you by any chance dancing because of Oxymoron's commitment to quality? What? Um, well, uh, Oxymoron uh, Motors uh, uh, help better. It's good. Okay, uh, okay, we get it already. The people are just in the dancing. Aren't car commercials stupid? Blah, 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 and blah! Can we not be finishing this so I can be telling the plan of mine that is my plan? Yeah, whatever. I'm out of here. Don't worry, little Susie. Captain Narrator will save you. Dun da da da! Whoosh! 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 <coughs> the commercial's whoosh. over. Whoosh. What? Oh, <coughs> uh, uh, let's. Let's see now. When we last saw Sheep, he, he was depressed at being the only sheep in the big city. And the angry scientist was about to divulge his new plan to capture the farm animal. Chapter 2. Will you let me finish? You should tell me when the commercial's over, Mo. It's very embarrassed. Finally! Now, here is coming my plan. Yes? The secret military organization will go to the big city. Yes. And be holding a fake sheep convention. We will be disguised ourselves as sheep. The plotting device assures me the sheep will be attending. Hello. And when he does, we grab him with this net. Oddly brilliant. Any questions, men? Uh, will there be any seminars on sheep-related issues? Of course not! It's an entirely fakeness sheep convention! So you're not planning on any guest speakers? No! No speaking guest airs! Then it's not really much of a sheep convention, is it? It is not supposing to be! It is a trap! The sheep convention is a trap! A trap without any seminars? No! I have to be getting out of this contract. A sheep convention, eh? That may just work. At least then sheep could meet other sheep who understand what it's like to be a sheep in the big city. Or something like that. I mean, sheep can't even get a taxi in this town. Ah! Or a bus, even. Ah! I guess it's walking for this farm animal. <laughs> What's that? Music? Laughter? The twin sounds of party! And they're coming from over there! A little to the left. The Happy Times Restaurant. Maybe there's a place for sheep in the Happy Times Restaurant where every day is... Happy Day! Consideration paid by Happy Day Corporation. Oh, now that's not happy. 
and neither is this. I mean, we're all mature people and farm animals, so I would have thought that sheep could at least think about other people's feelings. Mine, for instance. Okay, My that's enough. Boy. Let's go back to sheep. What's this? Sheep thinks he can fool people with a disguise? Come on, people aren't that stupid. I mean, they'll see right through! <laughs> Never mind. And I didn't feel validation from his re-evaluation. Oh, forget it. I'm going to get seriously proactive here and get sheep back any way I can. I've got a job for you. Oh no! Who has Farmer John called? And why has he called him? Does that cell phone have a clear digital connection? And what about General Specific? And his evil plan to hold a sheep convention? All will be revealed in the nail-bitingly, electrifying, soul-stirring Chapter 3! I never heard such a thing! Personally, I can't wait. Come on down to Oxymoron's family-style restaurants, where we treat you like family. Just watch! Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Uh, excuse me? Don't you start giving him lip now! It's okay, Mama. I have learned to deal with that attitude of his. I don't understand what's going on here. How many times do I have to tell you to keep your big mouth shut? You never call, you never write, you never call saying that you're gonna write about calling! I don't even know who you are. After all we suffered to give you a better life! <laughs> you have no idea! <laughs> Can I borrow your shirt? You people are crazy! I'm getting out of here! You're only hurting yourself, you know! Come again! So come on down! Remember, at Oxymoron Family Style Restaurants, we hope your meal will be better than the one we show in this commercial. I've had it up to here with your chatter, young man! It's dinner with the power of an ox! <coughs> you too, Oxy! And now, Sheep in the Big City is proud to present, at great expense, the internationally renowned act, the Fantabulous Sombrero Brothers! Hold it one second, please. What are you doing? I forgot my hat. You what? I forgot my hat. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Hector. It's just that we were in such a rush and everything. How could you forget your hat, Bill? We're the Sombrero Brothers. I know. The Sombrero Brothers. The hat is all act. Maybe I should try to find it. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. You know, it hurts when you're so sarcastic. Will you just find your hat, please? What's going on here? Bill forgot his hat. What? Bill forgot his hat. How could he forget his hat? You're the Sombrero Brothers. The hat is the whole act. I know, I know. He's looking for it now. I don't believe this. Listen, Ben, I am... I'm really so sorry about all of God, it got my hat. Are you sure it's a Sombrero? Yep. Are we ready now? I think so. And now, the fantabulous Sombrero Brothers! Oh, I don't believe it! I, uh, uh, sheep in the big city haphazardly presents a chicken and pig arguing already in progress. <laughs> A pig and chicken, arguing. Thrillsville. 
Let's get back to the heart-pounding excitement of sheep in the big city! If you remember, before that sham of a sombrero act, Farmer John had just called a mysterious person to help him retrieve sheep from the big city. Who is this mysterious person? And what is his plan? Chapter 3. I never heard of such a thing. So... Can you do the job? Black King Kong, Flix Nos Nuckengach! I'm sorry, I must have a bad connection because I can't understand a word you're saying. Duck King Kong, Das Block Flocking Snarf! Uh oh, the German Shepherd! Known throughout Upper Westphalia as among the most efficient shepherds for hire. Look out, sheep, you've got some troubles a coming! Oh, sheep, what's wrong? Bah. Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Is that it? Bah. Sorry, uh, wrong show. Uh, are you feeling sad because you miss the company of other sheep? Hey, where'd you... Fine, be that way. I was going to visit General Specific's men preparing the fake sheep convention anyway. Sir? You have a question, Major Appliance? Yes, sir. Oh, where will you be holding the shearing seminar, sir? There is no shearing seminar in you poop of the Nincom variety! This is a trap! A fake convention! Jeez, touchy. Sir! Yes, Major Payne? Some of the men and I were wondering about the door prizes, sir. I cannot be believing this! There are no door prizes, no keynoting speaker, -er, no funny heads, no nothingness, just the trapping of sheep! Touchy, touchy, touchy. Sir? Yes, Major Television Event? I was getting into character. I want to be a convincing sheep, you know. And I wondered if you had any pointers. Well, that's a question for the scientist here. Why? Why do you need him to be getting into charactering? It is a wasting of time. As soon as the sheep is arrived, we capture him. You have no sense of process. Poor sheep remembers his days back on the farm. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> if only someone would give him a sign. Sheep convention. All sheep welcome. This is a real sheep convention, not a trap. So there's no reason to be suspicious. Starting right now at Hotel Doxymoron. Printed in America, this poster uses 35% recycled paper. I like to read. <laughs> Where's that sheep? This trap sheep convention won't work if sheep doesn't show. The only one who's arrived is that short, funny-looking, mustachioed man over there. So I says to him, I says, as a sheep, I love hanging out and grazing. I know what you're talking about. As a sheep, I too really like grazing. Are you fellow sheep talking about grazing? Because if you are, I'd love to join in the sheepy conversation. As Sheep surveys the scene, he makes an important discovery. These sheep are boring! Sheep doesn't need to hang out with boring sheep. Just because they're sheep, he can be his own sheep. Independent, sassy, and living in the big city. Oh, that funny-looking mustachioed man is leaving. Just then... Uh-oh. No, you don't understand. We're not sheep. This is a trap. That's okay, little sheep. We can discuss your issues in our sheep group therapy sessions. But I'm not a sheep! This is just a costume! A lot of sheep feel that way, but you have to learn to live in your own wool. So, it looks like Farmer John is getting a new flock, and sheep's, well, 
Sheep's decided to be himself. A sheep in the big city. Well, good for him. You know, nothing says it's the end of sheep in the big city like a ranting Swede. I tell you it gets my goat. Have you ever seen a piano? It's got 88 keys and I only have 10 fingers. And every key makes a different note. I want to play the piano. I have to invite over eight friends. And that's two extra fingers left doing nothing. And all the friends, and they want some snacks and some chips and some cheese curls. And they want some shrimp ola cola. Hey, how many shrimp ola cola? I don't know what that is. And I'm from the Sweden. Maybe I'll find out later in this season. It's ridiculous. They should have just 10 keys on a piano and leave it at that. Charming as always, Ranting Swede.